I'm Angus. And I'm Andrew. And uh, here we have wise Western Australian Vidello. Vidello, Andrew, I know it's a pet love of yours. Oh, I like Vidello. I, I almost like it. Vidello is the underdog of the Australian wine world. And I, I sort of... Is I there a reason for that? Uh, look, okay, it is, it is, it's a very sturdy, hardy grape. But also, I think that if it's done really well, it could be such a great, simple, juicy white wine. It could be the Sauvignon Blanc of Australia, but you know what? It's always just been a workhorse. You yeah, know, it, it's, it's basically just always been there as just this industrial, dull, broad, lots of acidity, and that's about it. Look, I, look, I have to agree. I think, I think Vidal has been, been dealt a very hard hand, but yeah. it does provide Sav of Australia, I think, is a good way of putting it. You know, fresh, lively wines, a bit more tropical, doesn't quite have the pungency, but actually that should make it more user-friendly. Sav turns people off. This wine should just be, you know, welcome welcome home, home to mama. Kind That's of right. easy it. drinking, peachy, you know, simple, but also nice acid. Mm. All I'm saying is give them a chance. I think, give, and I think give this one a chance. I think, I think Keith Wise has done a nice job. It's elegant, fragrant, bit of perfume, easy drinking, barbecue style. Barbecue style, very barbecue good. Barbecue style, three stars for me, I think. Three stars for me as well. Well done.